guys, welcome to my first tutorial on Crystal Digital. If you don't know who I am, I am Jack, partner of Jim. Well, anyway, I'll be doing the graphics slash Photoshop side of the channel, and Joe will be doing the animation video side of the channel. So, let's get started. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this pretty cool background, I'd say and I'm going to call it a colourful tornado uh, so first you want to hit file new and then you can set it to your screen resolution if you wish don't know how to do that I'll put a link in the description and I'll sh that will help you find out what your screen resolution is make sure you've got pixels now I'm going to stick with 400 by 400 because I don't want this as my background it's I've got my own at the moment, so hit OK. And now you want to start off by, if you haven't got black and white here, then just hit that little icon there, and that will give you black and white. Now, when you have black and white, you want to drag from the bottom to the top, and that should give you this black at the bottom, white at the top. Now if you don't have white at the top and black at the bottom and it's the other way around then you've dragged it the wrong way. Now once you've got that you want to go down to filter, distort, wave. Now you can keep all of these settings as they are apart from this one thing. Change that to square. Now to get the appropriate effect you want to hit randomize and then you'll get, hopefully you should get, little tiny little lines which is good like that but I'm just gonna randomize and draw well, this, will, that'll, this will have to do so I don't want to talk about um, then once you've got that you go down to filter think distort polar coordinates now you keep everything as it is just hit ok so you should get something like this now when you've got something like this you just hit Control J which will duplicate the layer and now you hit file not literally hit by the way when I say it hit it's just something I'll say for some reason and go to file now edit transform rotate 90 clockwise now what you should get here is basically the same image but rotated. Now, once you've got the rotated image, just click overlay, set the layer to overlay, and you'll get something like this. Now, this isn't completely done yet, but I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so now you go to filter, distort, twirl. Now, when you're on this, you want to set this to 136, which will give it that effect. Now, when you've got that, you'll still have these lines in the background from your original image, and you'll have the twirl from what we've just done. Now, this is getting to it, basically. All we have to do now is add some colour. Now, what you want to do is make sure you've got this layer selected, hit Control, and then click on the other layer then that should select them both and then hit control E now what that will do is merge them so you haven't got as much layers and it will just keep them same now if you want to edit one of them layers then I recommend you don't merge them right now you edit them while you can and then when you're happy with it you merge it now you have create a new layer I'm gonna, just going to call this um, And now you go down to paintbrush, pick a reasonable size brush, for example, make sure you got this layer set for, selected by the way. Select a reasonable size brush which has got softened edges, basically 0% hardness. I couldn't find a brush that was right, so I just typed in 100 pixels, and that's, that's reasonable for me. So, just pick any colour that you want. If you want red here, put red there. Put green wherever, you know. So, I'm just going to 
flash a bit of red there. Yellow here. Now it doesn't matter if they go into each other because I think it makes a nice effect if it goes into each other because they can often like mix the colours can. But you don't want too much at, like in certain places otherwise it's just going to look plain, isn't it? So try and like vary where you put different colours. Now I'm just going to add one more colour and then I'll finish. Start blue. Now, once you've got that, just go on this and hit overlay. Now, that to me is looking pretty good right now, but I think it's a bit bright. If you look at this, it's a little bit darker if you get me. So, I'm just going to go down to, well, I think it's edit or image, I'm not sure. Yeah, image adjustments and brightness slash chrome. Contrast. Now you can play around with this until you get something that you like, but I usually like lower the brightness a little, but don't lower it too much because it looks obvious that you've splashed on colours everywhere and it just makes it look bad. But the higher you put the contrast, the more the colours or the white bursts out, so set that lower. But look, you can see a dash of red where I've placed it there. So I'm just going to... The higher the brightness, obviously the higher the whites are going to be on them. So, you want that fairly low. Alright, keep the contrast on 100, I'd say, and then lower it to down what down to what you want until it looks good for you. So I have lowered mine quite a bit. So that's alright for me. And yeah that is it. If you want to add some text just add some text. I don't think it will really matter that much. But yeah, thanks for watching remember to comment, rate and subscribe. By rate, I mean thumbs. I'm, I'm not. I'm not really used to this new YouTube. So, yeah. So comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. See you next time.